What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scooby Marina. I'm down here in our workshop and I'm doing, working on a couple of tanks here, getting them vised up. I want to make a quick video about taking care of your equipment. These tanks that I'm working on now, unfortunately, they are just completely neglected. Um, one has so much corrosion both on the inside and outside that I've actually had to condemn it. It's, it's not even, uh, it can't even be saved if you will. Yeah, I can tumble it, but there's so much corrosion on the outside that it's actually damaged the material itself to the point that it's unfixable. But I want to show you real quick a tank that I'm working on and show you what a tank boot can do. Now, a lot of people like tank boots on their tank. Obviously, on a steel cylinder, tank boots are a godsend because on steel cylinders, the bottom of the cylinder is actually round, and so you need that tank boot if you're going to stand your tank up, maybe on a dive boat or something like that. But in general, on aluminum cylinders, we take all our tank boots off. We don't even use them anymore because I want to show you how much damage they can actually do to a cylinder if you do not properly clean your tank. So let's take a quick look at this 80. So guys, here's the cylinder that I'm currently working on. And as you can tell, it's got quite a bit of corrosion to it. But down here at the bottom, if you look close enough, you'll see all this corrosion here. This is actually from salt water. And basically what this diver did is he made a lot of salt water dives. He never took his tank boot off and all that salt water, and there's even some corrosion um, residue inside the, the tank boot itself. But what he did is he never took his tank boot off and all that salt water is just ate away. This was a normally uh, brushed finish and it's just took the, the paint and the finish right off and it's down to the bare metal now and it's just completely corroded out. Now thankfully I should be able to sand some of that down and, and get it back to um, to where it you know it looks decent get some of that corrosion off but it's just ate it um, and what's even more appalling is that the previous shop that had visited this this tank for for this gentleman just left it that way um, so it, it's you really need to take good care of your gear guys this is not scuba equipment per se this is life safety equipment and you know if you don't take good care of it i can promise you it will not take good care of you but i just wanted to make this short video on taking good care of your gear especially your tanks they kind of carry that vital substance that we need underwater and without taking good care of it they definitely will not take good care of you so guys, I just want to make that quick video and show you just what can happen to your cylinder if you do not take care of it properly. Remember, this is not necessarily scuba equipment, but it's life safety equipment. If you take good care of it, it will take good care of you. If you got any questions on some of your other equipment, how to take good care of it, check out your local SSI facility and get signed up for the Equipment Techniques Program. This is where we're going to show you things that you can do at home without having to bring your gear into a dive shop, which costs money, of course, and that it can prolong your equipment by taking good care of it so definitely check out the SSI equipment techniques program if you decide to leave a tank boot on your on your cylinder please take it off after saltwater dives or after a series of saltwater dives wash underneath it wash inside the tank boot area and get some of that corrosion away and of course let it air dry or drive off with a towel prior to putting a tank boot back on but guys i hope you liked this video if you got any questions please put it down in the comment section below if you've got a dive buddy who their gear looks very similar to what this diver's tank please show it to them and show them exactly what can happen if they leave that tank boot on 24 7. Guys, I appreciate you watching the video. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.